Doesn't impress me at all when you just run around and chase kitties when I pull in the driveway. Wait, not at all. need a long pulley saw cutter how you doing chopper this dude the way he works it like he gives zero fucks and it's windy as shit out there today half that movement's probably from the wind alone no, she's a bouncy bitch though she is oh, what a fun job that would be I mean assuming you hadn't been drinking too much and you can keep from hitting the friggin power line poles oh my goodness you best. Hey, he's just giving her, isn't he? How you doing? Oh, I apologize for my just wandering camera here. Never met like never met a gimbal I liked. Oh my goodness, never met a never ne, n, n, never met a gimbal I liked. Damn, dude, he just eating it up. Oh. How you doing? I bet it's getting to the good shit. Oh, not the good stuff. Buddy. Buddy, you're taking out the good stuff. Okay, up doit, update, up doit, up doit, up doit, up doit, update. Update 12.7. Update 12.7. It's not as bad as uh not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. We're in the middle of the rainy season, so it's uh, it's not stop raining. Uh, no goo. So not near as bad. Just a little bit of soft, all that dark black on top has got to be chattered out of there and braced up. But as you can see, there's only the tiniest bit on the top of this one. It doesn't doesn't eat down into it like it does on that one and the back one just about the same as the middle one if even that bad um obviously got to replace that insulation I'll tape all those holes up those drain holes and I'm done you can still see there's wet insulation there because that's where all the water oh I'm filming I'm filming with the light you can still see there's wet insulation right there because uh, that's where all the water pools and we're in the rainy season. Uh, so it's raining non-stop. And then of course you come up here to the top. And uh, that's, the, that's, the, that's the bulk of the damage. So I really kind of want to get up there and cut it out. But I'm debating. Oh, look how much more we got on the side there from water leakage. That's not good. That's not good. But I do probably, however, have plenty of time to get up on the roof and inspect the tarp situation and seeing if replacing that would stop any temporary leaks. Especially if I actually secure it better this time. Uh, I guess. Can't see shit because it's just a tarp. I guess it's just got little micro holes in it. And it's just worn out. Because there's no big holes. Like, unless that seam is just straight ripped. I don't like walking on a roof yeah, that much. <sighs> I don't even see any giant holes. Yeah. 
I know I couldn't work on a roof. I know y'all aren't seeing shit. Except, oh, apparently close-ups so, of, Jesus, I'm real good at this. So I got gloves on. Uh, yeah, it's because I got gloves on. Yeah, I don't even see any major holes. So I think I'm just going to fucking leave it. Because they'll be here in, you know, 30 days or less to fix it. So we're just going to suffer any, been leaking this long. At least the floor ain't soaking it up now. And that'll be just hopefully running through to the ground. Buddy, just going to have a shit. Right on camera. Big, big star. Oh, hey, doing? How are you? It's your friendly update red. Friendly mutton chop update? I don't know. Uh, should really, should really watch where I'm going when I'm walking because it's freaking cat poo central, as you well know. So, update time. So, what do we got going on? Oh, well, let's see. You know, this thing's running right. You know that now, but you don't know that I knocked the fucking mirror off. And if my wife doesn't watch the fucking video, then she won't know either. As I told her it happened in a parking lot. <laughs> At the grocery store. Not me. On that peach tree. Driving around in the dark like a fucking goof with my headlights off. Um, and this thing will not start still. And uh, I got the battery all charged up though. And I'd like to get it started and moved. Just because the fucking bed is full of water. And, but there's little chance of that, little chance of that, and uh, turn that off for now, put that on boost in a little bit when we try it, but right now I'm looking for my freaking socket set, so that I can go ahead and put that new mirror on, and then what do we got on the trailer? Oh my goodness, we got some OSB because we're going to try to attempt to fucking cut the hole in the roof and repair it. Oh my god! So luckily this is uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Came off pretty easy. Probably not as easy as it's going to with... Oh, with only one. Maybe I ought to use two hands. Before I break some shit. Okay, so I got her all pried away here. And uh, it's a 10 millimeter bolt on this 2008. Is it a 10? Yeah. On this 2008 Buick Lucerne. In case you're wondering, which you're probably not. And I was a little bit concerned that it was going to be some sort of newfangled, you know, operation on account of it being a newer car and and uh, a bit luxury, a bit luxury. And uh, but no, no, just standard freaking. And a procedure, based on that I've ever met, that I've ever met, that I've ever worked with. Unfortunately, uh, many uh, many vehicles I've, I've worked with, this piece is individual, not attached to the entire door. So when you do need to replace it, you just pop off this. That's how it is on my Suburban and on the S10, I believe. But, and this bad boy should just pop on out. I already fucking already popped that out and took the mirror off, so it just wouldn't be dragging and making any more of that action which I guess is what happened when I fucking knocked it off and uh, I got the new one and we'll just pop her in here pop her in here lickety split we will mistaking uh, recycling for trash. When I don't wear my stuff is, don't know what my stuff is. My stuff is, I'm glad it's not in there. Fuck me, fuck, 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 fuck me. Well, I couldn't find my freaking, my ratchet wrench, but I did find my 10 millimeter socket, so that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do, oh, on my Google goggles. <laughs> okay, I got in, let's see if, uh, Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, it works. Sweet. Okay, so she'll have to adjust that and we'll have to go buy another set of those and stick it on there.
Okay, yeah, so I don't really have a have a clue. I know you can smell gas, but I think it's likely I think it's likely a short somewhere. Um it is one of those cheaper Chinese fuel pumps that my son put in there, but I don't think that's I don't think that's the problem. But whatever. Not worried about it right now. Got other issues. This lever's only slightly crooked. Danger, Pelegro. Speaking of Danger, Pelegro, I'm not sure the camera action is a good idea on the roof. It's definitely not even tall enough. Might be now that I lifted it up. But yeah, you see how I gotta crawl up there like a PW. PW? P U W S. Ah, P U W S. That looks pretty bad up there. Pretty bad. I'm already regretting that I started this. Okay, I seriously don't know why the fuck I'm doing this, man. I am so fucking uncomfortable with heights. <sighs> I really do not want to be doing this and I cannot believe that this that these little fucking bitches is what holds up the roof little fucking one by strappings or whatever like what the actual fuck makes me that much more uncomfortable to be up here so I don't know I think I'm gonna try to cut out most of the bad area and then just literally come up here and fucking nail a, a goddamn a goddamn uh, piece of OSB over the whole thing and then cover the whole goddamn thing with the big tarp again because we're getting the roof done in two weeks and that'll just at least keep the rain out and keep it from leaking anymore so I don't know, that's probably what I'm going to do I can't put the tripod up here because, you know, my old one is shit and uh, my new one, the legs don't shorten, so, you know, with a pitched roof, it would fall over. And man, I hate getting up and down this ladder, man. I'm, uh, I fucking hate this. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I don't know what's going on. And I don't know why I have such, I was going to say irrational, I guess it's not necessarily irrational, but such a fucking fear of heights all of a sudden. I never used to be afraid of heights, but I'm fucking terrified now. Okay, so I'm in here going back and forth and uh, trying to figure out how I'm going to square off. Oh, sorry, I don't know if you can even tell if I square off all these jagged edges, right? But, uh, and while I'm doing so, I realized that I got a bunch of wet insulation down here. You can't see as much because you can kind of see there. I guess I gotta clean that up. So I put a hole in the fucking plastic and let water drain out because it's fucking. We're leaking. Oh, you can't see shit. That's this light. I mean, you can't really tell, but trust me. We're fucking leaking right down the sidewall because of a. Because we're missing the roof on the corner there of the outside of the house as well. So yeah, it's eight through at the bottom and there's a big chunk of stuff missing at the top. None of that good, right? I just lock that piece of OSB over it. I see that's the hole there. And uh, it's way too precarious. You try to square off the edges and shit right by the edge of the roof and I'm not insured. Fuck that. That's where we're paying somebody else for that shit. So, I got this cinched down. I got a heavy duty 20 by 30 foot tarp. I'm about to string over this bitch, nail it down with two by fours and some other strapping. 
and uh, <coughs> probably nail, go over the side and nail it under the bucket top of the eaves board and try to keep the water from going down that hole too. Well, that's what I'm going to do now. Okay. Well, you get the idea, even though I was supposed to wrap it the other way. But I'm an idiot, and I forgot. And it's only going to be here for a month or less, so it should be fine. Still got to work on that corner, maybe. And this edge, definitely. I may leave that alone, I don't know. I'm tired, and it's late. So it'll be down in about 30 minutes. About time for me to quit. Oh, good, I'm going to lose every fucking nail on the roof. That's awesome.